Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is our fifth episode of CDH, and it doesn't disappoint. At your request, we have updated our card images throughout this game. It takes a lot more effort, but I think it's worth it for your viewing experience, and it's just a lot easier to follow along. If you are enjoying our content, please let us know by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking on the notification bell so that we show up in your feed. With that, let's check out our commanders for today's games. First off, we have Jason playing Kalia of the Vast. This is an ad nauseum deck with some breach lines into an aristocrat's kill package. His starting hand includes Lion's Eye Diamond, Enlightened Tutor, Reanimate, Arcane Signet, Monic Tutor, Billis Broker of Blood, and Forbidden Orchard. Next we have Carlos playing Tashar Ancestor's Apostle. This is a mid-range combo deck focused on Tashar's loops that wins by milling out the opponents or direct damage with Walking Ballista. His starting hand includes Lion's Eye Diamond, Conjurer's Bauble, Mana Vault, Skyclave Apparition, Thermal Navigator, and Two Planes. Next we have John S. playing Cody Vociferous Codex. This is a fast combo deck that uses Cody and Twiddle effects into an empty deck and Thassa's Oracle. His starting hand includes Enshrouding Mists, Triton Tactics, Ad Nauseum, Mana Confluence, Taiga, and the Hidden Strings Mulligan to the bottom. Last we have Ben playing Cole the Forge Master. This is a fast combo deck that creates Storm through Cole's ability and zero cost creatures, winning with Grape Shot or Mortipod. His starting hand includes Crimson Kobolds, Desperate Ritual, Fervent Champion, Dockside Extortionist, and Arid Mesa, a Snow Covered Plains, with a Rite of Flame Mulligan to the bottom. Draw. Play the Forbidden Orchard, then I'll pass the turn. Draw Plains. We'll do Mox Diamond. Discarding another Plains. Mana Vault. First turn Teshar, you know? Play Lion's Eye Diamond. That was a serious turn one. Breeding Pool tapped. Pass to Ben. Draw for turn. Arid Mesa. Crack a new snow duel and it will come in tapped and I will pass the turn. For the new turn, I'm going to tap my Forbidden Orchard giving uh, John a 1 1 non flying colorless spirit and I'm going to cast an Enlightened Tutor. Get an artifact, mana crypt, raw, play a mana crypt, play an arcane signet. I see your lion's eye and I'll play my own. Give John a 1 1 spirit, cast a demonic tutor. Pass the turn. Buff Keith, I'll take a damage. Draw for turn. Uh, Contra's Bobble. Then I will sacrifice it. Pull up to one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. I will decline to do any. And then draw a card. I drew land for turn. Play Jeweled Lotus. Pass. Raw. A mana confluence. Jason, sending two at you. You spurn my gifts? <laughs> uh, no, no, I am using them correctly. Yeah, that's fair. I'll take two. Draw turn. Don't tell me you kept a one lander bin. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that, and I'm going to get my plateau. Cast Dockside. So for seven treasures in Crow, pass turn. Odds, I don't take damage. So I do take the damage, and I do not pass go. Draw. Cast Faithless Looting. Discard a Scalding Tarn and a Villas Broker of Blood. Forbidden Orchard. Give John a 1-1. One, one. Cast Reanimate. Uh, targeting okay. Villas broker of blood onto the battlefield and then i lose life equal yeah, to its right. current mana cost so that is eight luxury sweet pass with three mana up upkeep i'll take good damage draw for turn skyclave apparition targeting your lion's eye diamond it's, it's exiled pass i have my army of spirits play a taiga my main man cody and i'll pass big draw here we go Eshar is only a 2-2. Two, two. I thought Thank it was you. like a 3-4. Fervent Champion, 1-1 one, one, First Strike Haste, Draineth Magistrate. Okay. For the end of your turn, pay two life. I'm going to have Fervent Champion get minus one, minus one until end of turn. From Villas, I'm going to draw two cards. I get to roll for Crypt. Odds, I do not take damage. Dang it. The one time I'm happy. Cast Gamble. Let's or just do the top left one. Boom. Do it. Go. Top left? Yep. Damn it. Sorry. Is that, <laughs> is that is Command Tower? Romox exiling a Mayhem Devil. Okay, let's do some math. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. You're only making this longer now, John. It's all your fault. <laughs> I'm going to cast Ride of Flame. Twin Flame targeting Villas. Because what's better than one Villas than two Villas is? John, is There's that you with a response? I'm going to spend a red man and cast Pyroblast targeting your fierce Suck. guardianship. Suck. Okay, Chromacy as an instant oh, wait. targeting You're my dual caster in mage. I'll get a million dual caster mages. The original is enchanted by necromacy and will die at the end of turn, but the, the million that I get off a of twin flame will not. They'll die at the end of turn due to twin flame. 
and then I will get a copy of Villas that will die. And then I'm going to attack each of you with infinite dual caster mages. In response, I'm going to crack this jewel lotus, and I'm going to crack this lion's eye diamond, and then I'll die. I got a zero one one kobold in response. <laughs> yes! Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Brutal. That was terrifying for a second yeah. there. I thought I, thought I didn't think I could do it. For game two, Carlos's starting hand includes Mox Diamond, Grand Abolisher, Lightning Greaves, Phyrexian Altar, Sky Scanner, Nishra's Workshop, and a Plains. Jason's starting hand includes Gamble, Ephemerate, Imperial Seal, Dranith Magistrate, Skyclave Apparition, Gemstone Caverns, and Emergence Zone. Ben's starting hand includes Kobolds of Care Keep, Swords to Plowshares, Mana Vault, Heliod's Intervention, Mortar Pod, Runaway Steamkin, and Command Tower. John's starting hand includes Noxious Revival, Abrupt Decay, Tainted Pact, Breeding Pool, Gemstone Cavern, Scalding Tarn, and Tropical Island. Let's jump into game two. Pre-game. What you got? Stones. Turn one, draw a card. Mishra's Workshop. Sky Scanner, actually. And draw a card. Mox Diamond. Blast Zone. Pass the turn. Draw an Emergent Zone. I'm going to cast Draineth Magistrate and pass the turn. A Mana Vault. With that, I'm going to pass. Draw for turn. Play a Tropical Island. I also will pass. Draw for turn. Planes. Grand Abolisher. Ashton's Altar. <laughs> I'm in danger. Attack Jason for one. Take it. Then on the second main, I'll sack this for Chocolis. Lightning Greaves. And equip it to Grand Abolisher. And I'll be done after that. Draw. Yield Flooded Strand. Which I will crack. We'll get a plateau. The Carlos Skyclave Apparition. Ha! I'm gonna hit Ashma's altar. I'm gonna go at Ben with my magistrate. Pass the turn. Buff turn. Jessica's will. Play something, John. Save us. I'm gonna abrupt decay Dranith Magistrate. No, don't. <laughs> Take it back. Thanks, dude. So I got four red and one colorless. I'm gonna exile the top three. Cast a <laughs> zero cost kobold. Runaway steam kiln. Order pod, which will come in with the germ on it. I'm gonna ping Jason with the germ. And then I'll use my other two mana to load up my kobold. I'll pass. Draw and crack a scalding turn. Badlands. Cast Cody. And pass to Carlos. Draw. Uh, crack clan ironworks. <laughs> Guess I just pass. Draw. I'm gonna cast Gamble. Okay, John. One, two, three, four. You choose a three? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Nice. Imperial nice. Seal. That is the wrong answer. That was the right um, answer. Play a Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. I'll tap. Take one damage for the Mana Vault and draw for turn. Pass. All right, I'll shock. Activate Cody. I have Wooberg. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm so happy of you grabbing the dice in the correct order. This makes me feel so much better. I will use green for Ornamental Courage. Four tap, add Wooberg. When you cast your next spell this turn, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile an instant or sorcery with lesser mana value. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put each other exile card exiled this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. We're gonna flip until we hit a zero. Played Ornamental Courage for one. Yeah, so this is on the stack targeting Cody. So we've got a Hypergenesis. Oh no. So let's go on the bottom in a random order. This is free for me to cast whenever I want. And then I untap and Cody is now at 2-7. Then I'll use the four remaining mana to then tap Cody again. So you just get Wooberg again. I get Wooberg again. And I get the chain, the ability again. Now I'm going to pay two life and Noxious Revival targeting Scalding Tarn. Going to then flip again. All right, so a Profane Tutor. And these will go back on the bottom in a random order. Now this resolves, put Scalding Tarn on top. I'm gonna cast Profane Tutor. I will cast Hypergenesis. Starting with you, each player may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from his or her hand into play. Repeat this process until no one puts a card into play. So Hypergenesis is on the stack. I'm gonna crack my Bloodstained Mire. I'm gonna Man, you could have swords this whole time. Starting what with are you gonna me, cheat my in? high choice is Thassa's Oracle. Oh, mother. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I'm gonna put your... in Workshop Assistant. 
Drew Steel Paladin onto the battlefield. I will pass, Carlos. Frixie and Alter. Pass. Hellbent. So when they come into play, triggers go on the stack. I've got Thassa's Oracle. Z I'll hold priority and Tainted Pack. Tainted Pack resolves. Remove the top card of your library from the game. You may put that card into your hand unless it has the same name as another card removed this way. Repeat this process until you put a card into your hand or you remove two cards with the same name. I don't have any duplicates, so I will just exile my entire library and then Thassa's Oracle will resolve trigger will resolve and i'll win the game you know what's Are really you... sad is i had a deflecting squad and none of your things they all said you i couldn't have changed the targets <laughs> if you had appeared if you had peered into the abyss i was uh -huh. gonna ruin your day <laughs> <laughs> for game three jason's starting hand includes mox opal ephemerate faithless looting animate dead mayhem devil badlands and flooded strand Carlos' starting hand includes Chromatic Star, Codex Shredder, Aviary Mechanic, Lightning Greaves, Phyrexian Altar, and Two Planes. Ben's starting hand includes Mox Opal, Steel Shaper's Gift, Goblin Engineer, Goblin Matron, Bloodstained Mire, Snow Covered Planes, and an Underworld Breach. Dawn's starting hand includes Vampiric Tutor, Training Grounds, Fierce Guardianship, Ad Nauseum, Anomo School at Water's Edge, and Taiga. Let's jump into Game 3. Raw Badlands. Faithless Looting. Go ahead, Carlos. Draw for turn. Play a planes. A codex shredder. Last turn. Draw. Play a bloodstained mire, and I'll crack it for a plateau. I'm gonna play steel shaper's gift. Get skull clamp. Skull clamp will go to my hand. Pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. Play a misty rainforest and pass. Draw. Play a flooded strand. I'm gonna cast everyone's favorite red spoken name Gamble. Got five cards. Carlos pick. Far right. Far right. Ephemerate. I will pass the turn. Uh, mill myself one. The turn. Draw for turn. Planes for turn. Lightning Greaves. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a Marsh Flats, and then I'll crack it. Yeah, Sacred Foundry. Uh, shock it in. Memnite. Mox Opal. Skull Clamp. So that gives me Metal Craft. Goblin Engineer. When he enters the battlefield, I may search my library for an artifact card, put it into my graveyard, and then shuffle my library. I can pay a red and tap him to sacrifice an artifact and put an artifact a converted man who costs three or less from my graveyard onto the battlefield. Mortar Pod into graveyard. Pass the turn. Your turn. I'm actually going to crack Misty. For an underground C. Empiric Tutor. Card on top. Yeah, I'll put it in your graveyard. Crack my flooded strand, and I'm gonna cast my own tutor. Um, Hello, <laughs> how dare you? I'm gonna get Scrubland. I'm gonna Enlighten Tutor. Mana Crypt. Fossil's Oracle in the grave. Raw. I will play Manamo School at Water's Edge. Cast a Training Grounds. My turn? Yeah. Raw. Mana Crypt. Flash back. Faithless Looting. Draw two. Play a Mox Opal. And right. I'll pass the turn. Card. Chromatic Star. Get a white, draw a card. Gemstone Caverns. Earthbound Ravager. And I'll equip him, why not? Best turn. Draw for turn. Uh, I'm gonna play land. A lion's Eye Diamond. I'm gonna play Goblin Matron. Her abilities on the stack. On the stack to add three red. Discard your hand. And resolve Goblin Matron, and then... Dockside Extortionist. So I have... In response, with the uh, Dockside on the stack, I'm gonna mill myself one. Then I'm gonna sack the Codex Shredder to the Ravager, and the Lightning Greaves to the Ravager. Four total treasures. What, my 140 mana, and tap to cast my commander. Use a treasure. I'm gonna tap my Goblin Engineer to exchange and sacrifice Mox Opal. I'm going to return Mortar Pod, which comes in with a germ. Jason, I'll ping you for one with the germ. Take it. Equip Oxide Extortionist with my Mortar Pod, and then I'll ping Carlos for one. Cole's ability, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. And the turn. At the end of your turn, I'll Mystical Tutor. Are we dead, John? Yeah. <laughs> no. Fantastic. Dark Ritual. Oh, no. Dark Ritual. Uh, Ad nauseum. 31. And I'll stop there. So I'll go Come to six. On. So Mox Diamond. Discard. He decides not to and sacrifices Deep it. <laughs> Pro Mox. One mana short of just winning. Isn't it always that, though? Yeah. Dude, um, <laughs> I'm exiling Unmarked Grave to Chrome Mox. 
soul ring and uh, cast Kobe. You done? Yeah, so now I'm going to be discarding the hand size. Draw, cast Jessica's Will. I'm going to exile top three cards in my library and play them. Vanishing Verse, Swamp, and Burnt Offering. I'm going to cast Think Anime Dead. I'll counter it. Pass the turn. Draw a card. And just play this remote farm tempt. Comes in with two encounters on it. Best turn. Drop turn. Play land for turn. Dockside Extortionist. Ability on the stack. I am going to Path to Exile him. Still getting you know, treasure. You can't loop it. It's the only thing I could do. All right. Yeah, basically I tapped, right? Comes in tapped, yep. All right. How much treasure did I get total? Nine, two, nine total treasures. Take two life. Attach Skull Clamp to Memnite. It will go back to my hand because of coal, and I'll draw two cards. Cast Memnite again. So I'm going to use the other floaty mana to do the same thing. So it'll go back to my hand. I'll draw two. Cast it again. I spend a treasure to equip. Turn to my hand. Draw two cards. Play Memnite again. Pay one to equip. Turn to my hand. Draw two cards off of that. Cast Gamble. I'm going to search for... I just need a Kobold. So that's what I'm searching for. Carlos, why don't you just pick one through nine starting from the left? Five. Five. Oh my goodness. Woo! Woo! Pro Gambler Here's here! Skill. That was insane. Go to attack phase. I'll just swing on. What, Cole? Yeah. Take three. I cast Memnite. I'm going to cast Skirk Proc Spectre. Equip Memnite. Continue for one, John. It'll go to two. my hand. I cast it again. I'm going to re equip it. Sack it. Do one more damage. Go to one. Back to my hand. Recast it. I'm going to sacrifice a matron or one mana. Use my other treasure to equip Memnite. Or to party you for one more. I'm going to deflecting SWAT. Pulls triggers on the stack, returning Memnite, correct? I guess in that case, I'll deflecting SWAT to the prospector. In response to his deflecting SWAT, you can sack your whipped one. Sack them both. Draw the cards yeah. and then sack the other one. So I have two mana. Recast. Use that two mana to equip, and I'll ping you for one. And I'm then it'll dead. come back, man. And I, I think I will recast it. I will pass the turn. Draw. Dude, I'm still, I still can't believe that gamble, dude. That was insane. Did you roll for mana crypt, Jason? No, I didn't. Thank you. Odds, I take damage. Cast Necro. Pay 18 life. Discard into exile from hand, for hand size. I'll just go ahead and go to my draw step. Draw. Play City of Traitors, Tashar. Cast Phyrexian Altar. Trigger Tashar. I will target the only thing I can. Grand Abolisher. To play Attack Jason for five. I'll allow it. Fifteen. Pass. Draw. Play a Flooded Strand, and I'm going to crack it for a Plains. All right. Plains. Oh, sweet. You. So I'll take three, go to twelve. Now I'll do that. The first two equip, it'll die, come back to my hand. I'll drop two cards, recast him again for free. Use the other mana to do the exact same thing. Equip him, he'll die, go to my hand. I'll draw two more cards. Play Mem9 for free, go up to four. Fervent Champion. Equip abilities, I activate that target Fervent Champion costs three less, or I can equip him to anything for free. Equip him to Skull Clamp for free. He dies, yes, goes to your hand, you draw two. Runway Steam Runaway Kin. Steam Kin. Play one to get out again. Uh-huh. Equip him to Mortar Pod for free. I'm going to sort of plowshares. Teshar. All right, I'll pass. Do not draw. Mana Crypt. Trigger. Odds do not hurt me. It's an even. So I take three and go to nine. Plateau. I'm going to tap and cast Silent. So my opponents okay. can't cast Swords to Plowshares. In responses... I'm just gonna ping you for one. Go to eight. <laughs> you, yeah, and you draw. Play a Grim Monolith and cast Cabal Ritual. I have Threshold, so that's gonna add five black mana. It looks like a barely Threshold, not a for sure Threshold. Like half my deck. <laughs> Underworld Breach. Does that resolve? Oh, wait, you can't cast anything. <laughs> <laughs> cast Mayhem Devils, exiling three cards. Cast Animate Dead, exiling three cards. Animate Dead will target Leon and Relic Warden. When Leon and Relic Warden enters the battlefield, it will exile Animate Dead. Trigger makes me have to sacrifice Leon and Relic Warden, and Mayhem Devil will deal one damage to Carlos's face. Uh, Animate Dead comes back, though, which will then target my newly died Leon and Relic Warden and achieve the loop of dealing one damage to Carlos 40 times, and then I'm going to deal 31 damage to Ben. Oh my goodness. Dude, you work for that one. Well, those are some pretty good games and some pretty unique commanders. They also started adding in the cards in post, so hopefully you enjoyed that. It takes a lot more work, but I think it's worth it. What else do you think would make the viewing experience better? Let us know down in the comments below.
If you'd like to support us, we have a $2 pledge on our Patreon where you get access to our Discord, giveaways, and community game nights, which are pretty fun if I do say so myself. Get to play with me. <laughs> Either way, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.